Hello, Teacher Gary. My name is Monica j a h a l a p a d i t number 30 from m a h i o 5 s l a s h 1. So today I'm going to talk about the advertisement of Thai cosmetic company that is related to racism. To be honest, in my opinion, the first time that I watched this advertisement, I didn't think about any racism. But when this advertisement become more popular, and there are many comments about it, and the comment is really negative, so I start to consider and think about it carefully, and I think that is the real racism. I'm the person who have dark skin or. Don't have white skin as in the advertisement, but I think that is too much. I didn't feel like buying the product because in some point I think it's not real because I think it can make the black skin like in advertisement become really white. So I think it's not strange to see this advertisement in Thailand because many Thai people have. Dark skin and the advertisement or the producers want to make the Thai people buy the product, so they have to emphasize on the dark skin or even black skin, like in the advertisement, to make most of Thai people feel bad about their dark skin and buy the product finally. And also, the superstar or the model that on the television in Thailand have white skin. And as you know, many people want to be like their idol or the superstar on TV, so they buy the product to make themselves white at in the advertisement. That's where the idea that white skin or white is winning came from, in my opinion. As more people want to have the white skin and don't like their skin color, more people buy the product to make their skin white. Most of people do like this to make other people accept, and it's already become social value. Everyone have to be like this. When this social value has been done for a long time, everyone think that only white people that have white skin is beautiful, and the pe- that people is the best. That's why this belief exists. But in my opinion, in contrast. In Europe countries, that most of people have white skin, will think that dark skin is good too. I don't think this belief is true because many people that have success in their life don't have white skin too. They accept by their talents. If they are good enough, and many people will not think that they stop shining. No one can make them stop shining, even the new star that have white skins. So I think it's not true about this idea. And definitely, I think this advertisement is racism because as the advertisement said that white is winning, it can mean that dark skin is losing. It can make the dark skin people feel bad about themselves. They can judge that what's right or what is wrong. It can be so to the one who want to have the white skin, but this cause that say that white is winning can mean negatively to people who have dark skin. In my opinion, I think culture is one of the sort of this idea. Many people always insult on who is different and not as good as themselves. But I also don't understand that the real Thai people long time ago have dark skin, but Thai people nowadays have racial thought about who has dark skin. This can be changed, I think, because if people understand and accept each other, everyone can shine. Just be yourself. We have to see the world in different ways or in different points of view. Think about others feeling more. I think it will change because nowadays most of people can accept dark skin people, and people who understand will tell the one who insult dark skin people that it's not good or it's bad. As social become more popular, the idea that the accepting can be shared easily. Just there is someone who can accept dark skin people.
And as this advertisement is said, it can be seen that Thai people is fallen behind, still believe the old thought, and don't accept something new. That's all my opinion. Thank you for listening and watching.